In today's Health Watch, it is summertime. That means a lot of us are spending a lot of time outside in the sun. Local 5's Caitlin Corbett shares one local woman's battle with melanoma last year and the warning she has for spending those summer days in the sun. Christine Amon is no stranger to a day in the sun, and she's no stranger to the dangers of melanoma either. But thanks to the oncology team at Aurora Bay Care Medical Center, she's here to share her story. You feel like you're falling down a deep well, and you don't know where the bottom is. How, how bad is this going to be? That was the feeling for Green Bay's Christy Amon when she was diagnosed with stage 3 melanoma. Amon was no stranger to melanoma. She had a cancerous mole removed from her thigh just months before, but a new mole was in a more worrisome spot. I'd had this spot on my forehead, and um, my hairdresser said, hmm, you know, that seems like that's maybe changed some. You know, the next time you go in, have that looked at. Okay, so I went in and they did a biopsy and it too came back melanoma. And prior to this, she was no stranger to unprotected time in the sun either. And I just thought, oh, it's, it's not going to be me. And, you know, I was a child of the late 60s and early 70s, did the baby oil, laying out in the sun, getting a tan. Darkening or changes in the shape of a mole are a telltale sign of melanoma. After a plastic surgeon removed the mole, cancer was also discovered in Amon's lymph node. Because of this, she was referred to Aurora Bay Care Medical Center oncologist, Dr. Stephanie Labamascus. So in this case, um, she had node positive disease, so we were looking at like a stage three melanoma. Um, in this setting, we prefer to do an extra year of immunotherapy to try to reduce the risk that there could be any melanoma cells left behind. Uh, this is a treatment that essentially works to improve the body's immune surveillance for these cells. Um, not every cancer can be treated with immunotherapy, but that type of drug has really changed the game for melanoma patients. Okay. Amon comes to Aurora Bay Care every six weeks for her infusions. They're doing their job, and she's tolerating treatment well. Melanoma is preventable. Amon wishes she listened to the advice when she was younger and wore sunscreen or avoided tanning beds. But if she can save someone else from this experience, she hopes that her message will. That's the thing. Don't think it can't happen to you. Um, and, it, and don't think because you haven't had a sunburn in the last 10 years, that damage sits there and it just waits for you. But um, if there's just one person who's looking at a lesion on their body and going, hmm, gee, that's gotten a little darker, that's gotten a little more irregular, or maybe it's growing quickly. Um, Pick up the phone and call now. For information about dermatology treatments at Aurora Bay Care, just visit their website. And that's your Health Watch. For Local 5 News, I'm Caitlin Corbett.